What is the mission of the church? Of all the means God could have used, why did he choose to use people and not angels or any other way to continue his mission on earth? In his sovereign grace, God chose us, broken vessels, yet empowered with the Holy Spirit to show that the all-surpassing power of the treasure we have is from God and not from us, so that in all things he might have the glory. The mission of God's church is so much more than sitting in pews and singing songs. The mission of God's church is to be a light to the nations, to make God's love and message of His saving gospel accessible to all people. And it is to be Christ's body, His hands and feet on earth, continuing the example Jesus set for us while on earth. He says, just as He is, so also are we in this world. Jesus Himself says, just as the Father sent Him into the world, so He has sent us into the world. God is already moving, working, creating and transforming within our country, community, our workplace, our lives. He goes ahead of us and is already at work long before we enter any situation. And He is calling every one of His people everywhere to be a part of His worldwide mission for the redemption of all people everywhere. How sad is it that so many of us are so caught up in our own missions that we forego the opportunity to be a part of God's redemptive story, counting the cost of self-sacrifice as too high, and yet God in His grace may just well show us grace and use us anyway. We see that faith without action is dead, and He talks about true religion as looking after the orphans and widows. He cares about the poor and needy, and His heart is for us to show that too. Before God, we have an obligation, not to live according to the flesh, but to the Spirit, thereby demonstrating the fruit that comes from the Spirit. This is shown not only in our love within the church, but also to everyone outside the church too. God calls us to be ambassadors of Christ, compelled by His love to be a blessing to the nations. We have been reconciled to God through Christ and have been commissioned to go and give this message of reconciliation. So we can no longer live for ourselves, but for Him who died for us and was raised to life again. This is the mission of the church.